was a tough one last week, but I'm back. Good to see you guys. Today I think I have a cool one for you guys today. Over the last six months or so, you know, I'm starting to get a little better feel for what's going on in your head about your tanks. And I think one of the things that I think you guys should learn to do, and I'm going to give you those tips today, and I may have mentioned them, but I'll really focus on them today. There's a couple things you can do. I've mentioned trial and error in a number of my videos. So the thing I wanted to talk to you about today is water change. You know, when is it enough water change or when is it time to say, okay, maybe I don't need to do a water change. So other than lowering nitrate and potential phosphate, water change also replaces trace elements. And then you run into that issue. Like if you skip too many water changes, is the tank getting enough trace elements? I was thinking back in my earlier videos, I was really stressing weekly water changes of a certain amount, you know, whether it be 20% or up to 50%, especially in the nano reefs. And what's happened since then is I'm noticing that my tanks don't really always require weekly water changes, but yet there's that element like, oh, am I making a mistake if I skip a week? So what I'm gonna show you today is how to be able to observe your tank and not only observe, but do a few things that might enable you to say, okay, maybe I can shift my schedule of things, change a little bit without the fear of some tragedy happening. So the first thing that I do when I think about attempting to make some kind of a change is test. You want to test your salinity number one, and then you want to test nitrate and phosphate. You can test calcium and alkalinity. You could do that, but the change I'm talking about is maybe lessening your maintenance, backing off on a water change. Because things are looking good, or just in the opposite direction. Maybe things aren't looking right and the schedule of your water change has been uh, not enough. So I'll just walk you through some of these things and see if it makes any sense to you. What right. I also wanted you to do, this is more for beginners, but some of you advanced reefers, sometimes you rely, and I've said this a million times, sometimes you rely on your numbers to determine whether you make a change or not. And that is true, but only if your tank is not looking good. I've said this before too. So rather than me talk here, let me set up by each tank and I'll explain to you what I have going on. All right? All right, let's start here with the 20 gallon. If you look at the 20 gallon, or if I look at the 20 gallon. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light and I'm looking at it in the morning and the lights are fully on. You have to do this when your lights are completely up and you look at the tank. Now my issue with this is I have not changed the water in here. In two weeks, it's due today. I used to do weekly water changes on this, but the last three to six months, I've noticed it's looking really good. So I've been going every two weeks on a water change and I'm looking at the tank and the tank is just, everything's open. Everything is looking really, really good. So do I wanna screw with it? Like, do I wanna change the water today? So what I would do, in this situation is let's just test nitrate and phosphate. Obviously things are growing and I've seen that. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm not going to test calcium or alkalinity because I know they're where they should Let's be. Let's do that. I'm going to test and we'll come back and I'll show you the results and I'll show you what we're going to wind up doing with the tank. All right, let's go on to the 10 gallon. I have an interesting situation with that. Last week, I did about a 20 to 30% water change because I hadn't been changing the water in this at all, pretty much, because I had no coral in there. And I wasn't pleased with the way things were opening. Some of the mushrooms, some of the zoas, I noticed about two to three days after the water change, things started to really look good. So that was my flag to say, okay, maybe I need a few more water changes on this. All right, so I'm gonna test. And then when we see the results, I'll look at the tank and we'll make a determination what I'll do on that. And I was thinking maybe I'll do another water change on this because it looks so good from last week's. Maybe I'll do a minimal size or maybe the same. And then if I notice the recovery on the tank not to look that great, then I know, okay, maybe it didn't need the water change. All right, so let's do the test and I'll come back and show you. All right, guys, so here's the 3.5 gallon Pico. Now, obviously water change is critical with this tank. But what I was noticing is that when I missed a water change on this, everything still looked really good. This has been really growing. It's at the point where I may have to start taking these out soon. The pipe organ has grown. The Duncan <laughs> coral has grown, and even the hammer has grown. The Duncan is almost reaching out to touch the hammer, and that could be an issue. There's no stingers yet coming out of the hammer coral. What I want to do in this tank is just see what the limits are on water change. And I also see a little bit of hair algae and bubble algae cropping up here. So I know I have nitrate and phosphate in this water. Maybe I don't have to do a water change every week. And keep in mind, when I do a water change in here, it's minimum 50% every week. So if there is any nitrate in there or phosphate, and every other week I vacuum the detritus off the bottom or siphon it out or I suck it out with a turkey baster. All right guys, here's the six gallon tall. One of your faves. A couple things with this. You guys know the story, new viewers. I made a change back in the summer. I moved this tank over to here and from that time when I made that move, my Kenya tree stopped opening up and I began to try to experiment with things to see what it was. So what I did was I increased the light and by increasing the light it didn't really change. It didn't change much at all. So I said okay maybe it needs more time. In that process I went and bleached my Pasolipora that was up in the top and when I did some tests I was like 600 par up here and that's where it was. I've since then put it in the 3.5 gallon peak. I wasn't doing water changes also. I was thinking okay maybe there's not enough nitrate phosphate because I was getting zero readings in here for weeks and weeks. Each week I would take a test and it was zero nitrate, zero phosphate. 
So I said, okay, well, let me do without water changes to allow this to build up and see what will happen. And nothing really changed. So after about a week or two of that, I noticed the Kenya tree opening up. It fully opened up. So I had to do something with the parameters in this tank. It wasn't lighting. Then I got to say, all right, well, I have it. This is only six gallons of water. I need to do a water change in here, even if just for trace elements or something, just to change it. It can't hurt. So what I did was I changed the water last week, and I've noticed the rock flowers have opened more. The Kenya tree is looking better. Now the light is reduced back and it's still opening up more. So what I'm thinking is come back to some water changes. Uh, what I'll do today in here is test nitrate, phosphate, uh, and that's all. I've also been feeding this tank more heavily over the past three weeks or so. My pajama cardinal is really getting great, you know, and he's got nice color. So I'm going to test again and see what's going on. And if I have to do a small water change in here, I'll do that. Let's do the test and we'll come back to this and we'll see the results. Okay, and the 20 gallon was point one nitrate and check this out 1.3 phosphate wow so what am i going to do my first thoughts are a little lanthanum chloride tonight test tomorrow and maybe a small partial water change tomorrow and on the 10 gallon peninsula we had 0 0.0 undetectable nitrate and we had 0 0.08 phosphate. So I did a 20 to 30% water change last week. I'm not gonna do anything this week and maybe I'll test again next week. On the 3.5 gallon Pico, we had 0.5 parts per million nitrate and 0 0.02 phosphate. I think what I'll do with this is a small partial water change just because it's 3.5 gallons but not as much as I did last week. Last week I did a 50% change. Okay so here's the test results on the 6 gallon tall. 0.5 ppm of nitrate and still 0, 0.00 phosphate. So my own recommendation for this tank is not going to be to do anything with it this week. Just let it go and see what happens. It's a good thing to know. You want to feel comfortable with what you're doing. And you want to be able to make changes without fear of screwing everything up. But you want to do it from a sensible place. You don't want to just do it for the sake of doing it or change something because your nitrate went from, you know, 5 to 10 or, you know, your phosphate is not 0, 0.03. Lots of comments and lots of questions this week. So Wednesday will be another good one. And uh, have a great rest of the day and I'll see you on the next one. See you Wednesday. Take care. Everybody.